Uh, welcome back everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness or Heart of Zombies as we all come to know and love where we are expanding into the world of Europeans and quite frankly making a very weird Euro Germany I mean we're like just expanding into Germany it's just kinda weird so anyways um I was just about to increase all my naval bases because that's what ultimately uh, you know helps with you know, expanding the uh, fortresses levels and stuff of the colonies. So if you do that, you usually have a good start. And I'm fat broke because right now my people are just like Ugh, taxes. We don't like them. You know, uh, I don't really care about humiliation. If they actually gave me one about conquest, I'd be so happy to use it. But that's humiliation. And did the state of Timbuktu like this? I thought this was originally. It is! Oh my goodness, the Confederation of Seagal released released the state of Timbuktu. Oh gosh. Why would they do that? That's like a terrible move. Ah. Uh, like all these new African nations are like being freed but then instantly swallowed up by like the rest of the world. Oh gosh. That's terrible. Oh my goodness. Africa, I, I feel so bad for Africa. I actually, actually wish I could go send some troops over there to go help them because I don't know. It just feels kind of bad. But anyways, yeah, last episode we were talking about men in the colonies. I support this idea wholeheartedly. Seriously, if you guys could start assimilating all these really, really tiny little culture groups in my country, that'd be really nice. I mean, yes, I hate the fact that we that the only way in this game it does not it does not like differences. Let's just say that. This game is a toned to the idea of differences. It hates being different, but the only way we can actually get stuff done is we have to actually make everyone different. So try to expand to the colonies, people. We are the freest nation in the world, and we are getting a good amount of immigrants. I'm just going to say that now. But the fact, enforce the American Calcutta. Yeah, we have to make all the Native Americans adapt to us. Uh, Istra is going to be now our next protectorate. Yay! Yay, Istra! And where should we move out from here? Hmm. Move into Italy or move in. Let's see, which has more better stuff? This has lots of iron. This has, let's see, precious metals, precious metals. Not really much good stuff except for over here. Um. Uh. You know, this province right here seems to have both iron and precious metals. That seems like a good combination right there. But anyways, yeah, last episode I was going to start talking about really controversial stuff like Cuckle Bay Finn and, you know, why it's banned and why it's, you know, why it's like the most contested book to this day and why, why it's banned and why, you know, maybe it should be banned or shouldn't be banned. You know, it was, I was about to get into all that, but the time ended and so we didn't get to get into any of that. Oh, luckily too, because I really don't want the comic section to explode about such a like, in some in some people's minds a very small issue, in other people's minds one of the main problems with America. Okay, let's justify a war to go to war with uh, um France. You know, not because of any real reason, just because you know France has actually been doing pretty good, at least in the short run. But I think it's finally time for. France to be taught a lesson in the humblings of American style. Which basically means we're gonna go take them out. And we have tons of nitroglycerin. Oh gosh, this is like the best. Okay, we have more cores also enact being enacted by us. We have new rulings. Let's see, do you guys want pensions? Let's let's give acceptable wages. I know I could have given better like education system, but let's give like acceptable wages to the people. Okay, allow cruisers. Ooh. Oh, shoot, five. No. Do not go on five speed. Five speed is the devil, man. And that is like the that is like the destruction of America and society. You know, it's going on five speed, man. Going on five speed. I, okay, I was trying to imitate it. Okay, if you guys don't know, I was trying to imitate it like stoner. And I don't know if it worked or if it didn't work, but I tried to imitate that. So... Let's see, why am I going so let's see, what am I gonna go for war against France against? Um war against France for probably this region right here because I guess because 
all the uh, German Germanic people that are inside here are like, yeah, we should totally take this. And you know what? I'm a sucker for answering what the people want. So we will casually and effectively take over Metez, Strattenburg, and all these other things. And apparently we are negotiating with zombies. A scientist is a foolishly trying to negotiate with zombies and politically trying to make them free land. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wonder how the negotiations are going. I like seriously. I wish I was in one of these like sittings and just like listening to like how they're negotiating with the zombies. Like we're going to give you. You guys have much free this lands, and the zombies are like. Ugh, uh, uh. And the and the diplomats just like, you know, that is a really good rebuttal. Give us one second, talk it over. All right. We'll give you half the land. Is that acceptable? Brains. Okay, how about one-fourth the land? Brains. Okay, we'll settle on one-twenty-fifth of the land, but that's as low as we're going. Brains. Okay, now you're just not being fair. Brains. <sighs> and that's what the diplomat says at the end of it. Okay, so right now, our, our costs are just slowly going up. Let's see, what's our biggest cost? National start. Okay, that is way too much. Let all the factories that are not going to survive collapse. <laughs> I, I know it seems very mean on me, but that that is way too much money. I'm spending almost a quarter. I'm spending almost a quarter of a million. I'm spending more than a thousand bucks on subsidies alone. That is way too much, and I know it. And I was trying to be nice to my people, but that's just way too much. E even even me as a healthy dictator can't go that high. And this is about good for economic reasons. I don't need to be like pouring rich to do any of my jobs. And just, if it closes down, we're just gonna shut the factory down. Cause I don't really, yeah, th these factories weren't very good if, if I have to constantly be using my money. And I mean, America has, we don't need to be relying on like subsidies. I mean, we have enough land to do like almost anything we want to. Seriously, I mean, we have almost anything we want to to do almost anything we want to. I mean, seriously, we have so much land and so many factory opportunities. There's no real reason why we should have to resort to, you know, subsidies. Okay, so let's just do that. Let's just do that. And I think this is all because of those uh, stupid uh, capitalists building up my economy. Yeah, now I'm starting to see a gigantic crash in my economy. That isn't necessarily good, but it's destroying all these, like, really bad factories that just aren't gonna grow which I agree with I agree with if you're gonna make factories you should not make them like stupid and the French m the poly wait the form says enemy we must destroy for the benefit of America there we go and then the French people are just like what the heck is happening here so yeah we just got a uh, own little colonizing wow there's so many factories still okay how many factories do you have to close down Okay, let's just pause it for a second. Let's just like close down all these factories. Gosh dang, this is a ton of factories. And there's tons more making too. Wait, I actually didn't need that steamer shipyard because I have like none in my country. Uh, yeah, that may have been a more mistake. Okay, we're almost done. We have one explosive factory in Virginia. Let's just go this way. Okay, Virginia, there we go. Okay, and now it's time to go to war with fonts. Wee wee. So what do I want? I want, I could also take Normandy, just for no apparent reason except for taking Normandy. Nah, I'm just gonna stick with just what we should, ooh, I can take Ile de France. Hmm, what, does it actually have any value in this game? Cause it's not the capital of France right now. Hmm, I don't know, let's go in. Let's go! And we can give more freedom to people, good educational schools. Let's give educational schools, luxurious factory. Let's see, do, 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 do. Yeah, we could collapse this. Okay, let's go. Do, 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 do. Croatia, Croatia, long live fonts. So Croatia now can be finished. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I'm singing Le Marshall, but it's a really fun song to sing. Do, 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 while we're, while we're conquering the French. Conquering the French, I must sing the national anthem because it's really fun. 
to sing the national anthem of France because it's really fun to sing. Like, I don't, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but like, you can tell when there's a fun national anthem to sing, and just, you can tell when like, that country really would enjoy national anthem to sing it. I mean, I'm not saying that national anthems, nat ah, national anthems are bad or like some are better than others, I'm just saying that some are easier to listen to than others. Like the French one, for instance, we could listen to all day and just be like, yeah, France! Um, I'm not gonna name, uh, but something like the, uh, I'm not gonna name any specifics, but something like another particular, like, national anthem, you're just like, what am I listening to? This is like, I, I don't feel very, I feel patriotic, but I don't feel like I would ever, mm, I don't know. Maybe it's just because, like, hmm. I don't know. Maybe I, I may be just being a little bit too cynical here because, like, I mean, I'm not particularly from that country, so I guess I don't get the same nationalistic, like, <gasps> oh, kind of feel from my, like, you know, having their national anthem. But I, you know, I still kind of, I still kind of think that you can kind of tell like a good national anthem for like uh, a good national anthem that you would really like to listen to from one that you'd just be like, meh, that's okay. And mechanized mining. I'm at war. With, I just realized I'm at war with Britain again. Huh? They sent any troops? They sent troops. Okay. You know what that means, Britain? I'm gonna go send troops back at you. A lot more, may I add? So yeah, that should be enough army over there. Go send up one army over here. And it's now time to finally colonize this. What? No! So close. So very very close. Oh gosh, so I was that close guys, that close, exploring granite, oh my goodness, more crusaders, oh gosh, okay, come on man, you guys have railroads, please get to, please get to the point where, oh and the kingdom of Gambia just got bankrupt, okay, please get to all these little tiny British troops places before they bankrupt me, or destroy me, okay, that'd be pretty, really appreciated, thank you. And more factories are starting to close down. That's fine with me. Ugh. I really don't want any more bad factories in my land. Like, seriously, I don't want any more bad factories. Alright, and this colony is about to finish. All we need to do is just basically then just go land our troops right on the capital. That should make them surrender. Like, totally should make the French surrender. So let me see. Uh, no, it seems like they definitely want to fight me for a little bit. That's... Oh my goodness, Portugal actually has an army. Wow. I've left Portugal alone for way too long. They actually have an army. Huh. I'm still like the biggest army in the world by so much. I don't think it's going to matter, but... They actually have an army. It's 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 kind of like... Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of shocking. It's just like... Wow. They have an army now. I have to actually be semi-scared of them. So, I think that's what we're going to do next turn. We're going to go send this army to go fight the Portuguese army at full might. We actually have to turn up our actual militaristics and actually fully supply our troops. Because I think this is actually going to be a real battle. Oh, I can't wait! And a real battle! My troops haven't seen that in so long. We've been fighting zombies and we've been doing, like, major colonizational stuff. I mean, it's been a long time since we've had a real battle. Okay, let's go. Okay. Do 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 real battle. Here we come to the real battle. Oh, I can't wait! I can't wait! I'm so excited. Okay, the beliefs must be respected. Excellent. Okay, let's go right here. Uh, we've gone. Wow, we've gone really into that. So let's go start going into. We go into culture a little bit. Get some more technological advancements. Dig deep and greedy. Okay. Increase our manpower by a little bit so that we have the utmost advantage when we go in. Um, we're also at war with the Dutch, so I should probably note that. Um, okay, let's just, like, completely blast our economy for a second. Okay, and give it one more second. Well, I'll give wait until one more month. Auto save at the half of the month now. Okay, let's go! Fighting the Portuguese! Oh, sweet. Oh, shoot. We're losing. Wait, we're not losing. Are we losing? We're losing. Oh, shoot. Come on, guys! Americans, do not lose! Do not lose, Americans. Come on. Do not lose. 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 Wow, we lost. Huh. 
I think my troops have gotten a little bit rusty for not fighting actual people for so long. Okay, well, we're still gonna, it seems like we're still, like, winning this by a lot. And my people actually want me to add more war goals. Sweet! Okay, so what should we add? Um, England's in the, Britain's in the war, so I definitely want to finish off this little part of, of, like, Britain over here because I wish we could have gotten this, like, in the original war, but I didn't have enough time. So New Brunswick, right here. Right here, we're going to get New Brunswick. So add a war goal of conquering New Brunswick. New Brunswick, right there. There we go. Get right there. Just go in. Just start, let's just start conquering all of Canada. And yeah, we're just... <laughs> our troops get to go casually move through Canada. We have like two... Oh, they actually have an army up here in Alaska. What the heck? I'm going to have to go deal with that in a second. But... Let's go back to this place over here. Go kill them. Like, seriously, that, that was a pretty bad defeat. I'll admit that you guys are a little bit rusty, but seriously, go kill them. Thank you. Okay, now let's go defeat the uh, Amsterdamians in Amsterdam, or in Ultshit, and Ultret, I think it's actually pronounced, and let's go conquer them. Um, the French should take a little bit to reconquer all the stuff I've already conquered, so I shouldn't be too worried about that. Um, all these little tiny countries, I don't really think they really need to be in this war. Like, seriously, I, I don't... They're, they're all getting, like, slowly destroyed by the zombies, so... I definitely don't think they should be in this war. Uh... These guys are gonna be all dead here soon. Yeah. <laughs> sad, sad day for them. Oh, and apparently the Portuguese are invading me on my island, so that means I'm going to have to... You guys just do not give up, do you? You have to make you guys. You guys are like fighting me on like my colonies, which are kind of stupid because I have more. Oh shoot! They actually have a decent size. They have a steamer right there, so I'm actually gonna have to move my army all the way over here. Yeah, look at this. Go, go, cut them. Go, cut them down on me. I mean, seriously, the French think they can reconquer the island of Hispaniola? You guys lost it in eight in 1812 due to due to Napoleon's stupidity. You guys are never getting this island back, and neither are you, Portugal. Okay, and let me make sure there are no, like, other little tiny invasion forces around in any of my other colonies. Because that'd be quite annoying. Like, seriously, just quite annoying. And you guys should be finished. Let's go down here. And... These guys are going to take a long time, because they're also healing. They're also healing while they're, like, reconquesting everything. Alright, so let's, like, destroy some of these factories. Stupid ideas. Oh, gosh. Okay, so destroy, destroy... It's not really helping anyone that these things stay around. Destroy. 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 Okay. And one more. Destroy. Is that it? No, I missed a glass factory somewhere. What state? Arizona. Well, that's really going to be easy. Arizona, Arizona, Arizona. There it is. Close. Okay. Now let's continue. The wickedness must be stamped out. Uh, we're just casually conquering the Netherlands capital. Just just casually, you know. No, no big deal, just casually conquering the Netherlands capital. Mm. And more Crusaders. They're all very annoying. Let me just say that now. Just all very annoying. Let me just get right over here. And... Uh, defenders blockade, really? Uh... I should be like massively winning this war because they're not even with all the combined strength they really don't have anything and who has the most power right now France no the United Kingdom has the most power why didn't you guys take the war goal then uh, I mostly yeah the f ah never mind those guys are I'm basically saying that those guys are never gonna be able to do anything because I have just such a big army around America that they're never gonna have enough to fight me so yeah Alright guys, you're almost done, because I'd really love to do more stuff, and did you guys finish? Yes, you guys did. I almost feel like I want to take on that army right there, but I feel like that's going to... Their, their navy's probably going to be much better equipped than mine. I mean, mine has been comfortably sitting in the ports for like years, while they've been like dealing with zombie hordes and zombie supply relief efforts. You know, it, it would seem such a disadvantage to me to try to go in there. Alright, and we're just... <laughs> we're just casually conquering everything. Everything in our path will now be ours. Nothing will stand the wrath of me. 
Wahahahaha! Okay, get into this little place right here. We're conquering that, and let's see. Did we finish up with with finding the Dutch capital? Yes, we did. Good. Now let's go start destroying all these little tiny uh, French armies over here. They seem to be thinking that they have a chance now that I've like, you know, exited the country. Well, I'll prove. Don't worry, guys. I'll prove to you in a second why you guys don't have a chance. It'll become really clear really soon why you guys don't have a chance. And oh, it seems like we are out of time, guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bum 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 bum.